Hello and welcome to this Friday video for week number two. This video is going to cover how to use the StatCrunch calculator to calculate a whole bunch of different probabilities. Specifically, we're going to be looking at problem number four from the homework for this module. And here's what it looks like. So let's begin. The first step is to open up StatCrunch. Go to question help, StatCrunch. And this pops up for me, but I'm going to go into new StatCrunch because I like the look of it a little bit better. And here's new StatCrunch. So I'm going to move this off to the right and this off to the left. And let's get started, shall we? Uh, we need to determine the area under the standard normal curve that lies to the left. Left would be less than or equal to um, standard normals because we're dealing with z's. Um, negative 1.73. So we'll go into stat. Calculators. Oh my goodness, look at all these uh, we can look at. Uh, normal. Boom. And standard. And we need it to the left of negative 1.73. So less than or equal to negative 1.73. And compute. So that's the shaded area. This is the probability of getting a number less than or equal to negative 1.73, assuming the numbers come from this distribution, and it's 0 0.04181514. Round to four decimal places. See if I can do that. 0 0.0418. Four decimal places. Check answer. I did a good job. B, to the left of negative 0.64, negative 0 0.64, this seems a little too easy. I mean, this is supposed to be mathematics. It's supposed to be hard, isn't it? Uh, so this area is the probability of Z being less than or equal to negative 0.64. And there's that probability, 0.2611. Let's check the answer. I'm fantastic. To the left of negative 0.12, um, 0.45. Notice the area is getting bigger the farther to the right we go. So this is going to equal 0 0.4522. I am still fantastic. D, to the left of negative 0.43. Three 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 five nine. So that would be three 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 six. If I did that right, ha! I did a good job. It's as easy as that. We're told it's a standard normal, which means the mean is zero, the standard deviation is one. We're told to the left, so we're using less than or less than or equal to here. Could have done greater than if it was for to the right. And notice that the probability of being greater than or equal to negative 0.43 is equal to 1 minus the probability of being less than or equal to, because the entire area under the curve is equal to 1. This shaded area is 0 0.33359780, so this has to be everything left over. And this was for the normal. I mean, there's not much more we can say. Sure makes it a lot easier than going to the back of the book to table 5. And being able to calculate probabilities is really important for everything in this entire chapter, especially for something like problem number 11. Now, I'm not going to do problem 11, but notice that we're given lengths of pregnancies distributed with a mean of 160 and a standard deviation of 11. So we can put that mean right there. We can put a standard deviation of an 11 right there. Probability that a random selection lasts less than 156 days, less than 156. All right, that's about 3581. And it's just that easy. 
StatCrunch really does make your life a lot easier than doing these things by hand and going to the back of the book and use table 5, the, the normal distribution tables. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself. Bye.